Alex, are you out here? Down here. Oh, hey. Um, what are you doing? I'm just doing some squats, man. Uh, why? You know, we're still in lockdown right now, so... I'm trying to stay in top tripping form. Um, because the neighbor called, and, uh... They sounded pretty concerned. They said that you were out here walking a canoe. Just back and forth. Yeah, I was practicing lining earlier. Okay, you were just doing that on the grass? Yeah, on the grass. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, everyone's here right now. I think you had something that you wanted to tell them about a pair of pants. Oh, everyone's here? Yeah. Yeah, maybe stop what you're doing and uh, come do that, okay? Oh, okay. Well, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll be, tell them I'll be right there. Okay, good stuff. What's going on guys? It's Alex here with Northern Scavenger and today we are going to be looking at an essential piece of gear that we are now bringing on pretty much all of our canoe trips. So if you haven't guessed it already, what we're going to be talking about today is Kokatat's Tempest Pants using their Hydrus 3.0 material. We have received a lot of questions about these dry pants and really I just purchased them uh, I think two seasons ago now, back in 2019 uh, for a trip where we were going on a 35 day canoe trip through Labrador. We are going to be dealing with some a lot of rain some cold temperatures and cold temperatures both in the air temperature but also the water temperature. A lot of the rivers that we'd be walking and wading through were gonna be freezing cold water. And so uh, when you're doing that for long periods of time, anything you can do to keep those feet dry longer um, is going to help you stay warm, stay comfortable and uh, keep pushing on on, uh, on these trips. So Kokotat actually has two different versions of, these, of the Tempest pants. So there's this, there's this version, which is the Hydrus version, using their Hydrus 3.0 material. Um, it's a breathable and durable material. The other version of the Tempest Pant is Gore-Tex. Uh, Gore-Tex is said to be even more breathable and more durable uh, than these ones right here. The only difference being, or the downside I guess, is that it comes at a bit more of a higher price point. I opted not to go with them because the way that we beat these up out there, I was just thinking that no matter whether it's Gore-Tex or the Hydrus, if it's going to rip, it's going to rip. But uh, so far these have treated me really well. I just got my first hole in them recently and um, I mean, I've probably worn these for probably getting close to 60 days worth of like heavy tripping. So a lot of use in these pants. Um, and, and they're still holding up great. I just need to add a little bit of sealant to mine in order to keep them going a little bit longer. So essentially the way these dry pants work is by completely sealing out all of the water. So you'll see up at the top, there's a tight waistband that's meant to be cinched around tight around your stomach. And then as you get down to the bottom where the feet are, there's actually built in feet. And so these feet are actually stitched directly into the material and sealed so that no water can get in. As long as you don't get water above the waistline, you're likely gonna stay dry. The one thing I will say is that on warmer days and days where you're putting in a lot of work, I sweat and so I found that underneath my pants, I do end up getting a little bit damp on my base layer. Uh, so sometimes you'll see me at portages where I drop my pants and I'm like airing out my base layer because the base layer will dry pretty quickly if all it is is a little bit of sweat. Um, but if you were soaked underneath, that'd be a completely different story and it would take longer for your base layer to dry. Another great option about having dry pants like this and part of my system is the ability to bring a dry top with me 
so that I can pair the two of them up. I like this system because there's days when I don't want to be wearing a dry top but I know I'm going to be doing a lot of wading in rivers and so I can also use my rain jacket with the dry pants and if you're hitting white water and it is really really cold and you do want that full dry protection you can wear the dry top and together between the two you can create a pretty tight seal uh, that's almost as good as a one piece dry suit. It's not quite the same, there is a chance that on a larger swim that you might get some leakage. Uh, just because it's not perfectly sealed like the one-piece dry suits. So a few other tips that I would recommend along with these dry pants. The first one of those is neoprene booties and there's two reasons for this. One is a little bit of added protection for the sewn-in booties on the dry pants just to add a little more protection just in case there's something inside your shoe or you, uh, while you're walking, you trip on a stick or something like that, it might just protect a little bit more because they do come up a little bit uh, of those dry pants from uh, ripping or getting a hole punctured. The other thing is with a little bit of neoprene, it can actually help keep your feet a little bit warmer while you're wading in rivers all day. Now, the one caveat that if you are using neoprene booties, you are going to want to make sure that whatever shoes you buy to go on the outside of this whole package are maybe one or two sizes bigger than you normally wear for shoes because you want to make sure that you've got space for this now thick package of sock, dry pant, neoprene booty inside your shoe. And, uh, and so a little bit of a larger shoe will definitely help give you a little bit more space to work with. And my final tip would be to always carry some sort of sealant like Aqua Seal, or there's some other options on the market that, that is a waterproof and flexible sealant that you'd be able to use in the field if you were to get any punctures or scratches on your dry pants, just to make sure that you're keeping them as dry as possible while you're out there. And many times, a lot of these products like the sealants will actually allow you to get a few more years of use out of them, uh, even after you've put some holes in it, which is awesome. So. I still have to do that to my pair right now because as I said, I just got my first hole in it recently uh, and that was after a lot of use. So I um, was kind of expecting one to come eventually. Now I've got it, I just need to patch it up a little bit and uh, we'll be good to go. Now I'm gonna share a quick clip of us getting ready for a cold day out in Labrador. We put on our base layer first every single day. I've got a nice uh, quick dry shirt on here. I've got my quick dry hikers pair of socks, now with Dave's new tip of tucking my pants into my socks so that they don't ride up. I take my dry pants, completely dry on the inside because I took the time to dry them out on the fire, slide into this puppy, I tuck all of that inside, do up nice and tight. Basically you just don't want to let water get above your, your pant line. And then these puppies, I'm just going to slide directly into my soaking wet shoes. I've actually rinsed them out in the water because we're on a sandy beach right now and I'm trying to reduce how much sand gets exposure to the dry pant to try to keep them longer. It can be a little cold. Sometimes we heat our uh, shoes up and our socks up over the fire just so that you don't have to put your feet into uh, something cold in the morning. These Kokatat Hydrus, uh, Hydrus Tempest pants, I believe they're called, have like a little uh, tightening thing at the bottom that I usually do up to try to stop the extra slack from coming out. And boom, dry pants are on. I've got a rain jacket that goes on over top. And this has been essentially my setup for the entirety of this trip so far. And I've been dry almost exclusively for the entire trip. Gives you a nice warm place to put your hands too. Very true. If there's any other questions that you have that I didn't address in this video today, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and happy paddling.